How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Today's video we'll be playing a little bit of Chen. Um, what I'm going to notice in this next pattern of Heroes is we're going to play quite a bit of um, of Warriors. <laughs> there are, I think, four Warriors in this week's free free fee, fee free hero rotation. Um, that being Arthas, Chen, Tyrael, and there was one more? Right? Right? Or is it just those three? No. Yeah, just okay. Yeah, just those three. Oh, huh. interesting. So we're going to play all three of them in a row because why not? Chen. Chen, Chen, Chen. The Pandarian. I bring pandemonium. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are fighting on the Battle of Eternity here, right? That's what it's called, Battle of Eternity. But you like a sip. It will put hair all over you. Oh my god, Chen. That was really inappropriate, bro. Really inappropriate. So the friendly team, we got Chen, Artanis, Zeratu, Vala, and Asmodin. Uh, then the team, we got Zeratu, Zavanas, Tyrael, Raynor, and Artanis. Zavanas and Raynor are going to be a really big problem um, against this immortal. Uh, also, Raynor and Artanis taking Titan and Giant Killer can potentially be a big no-no to us because we do have double tanks so they can potentially do a lot of percentage based health on us and it hurt uh really bad really bad so level one we're gonna take regeneration master this is just your general you know fucking thing <gasps> oh whoa excuse me excuse me so what are our traits or abilities not traits our abilities well, our Q ability is called Fly Kick. This is going to fly to a target and do some damage like that. I'm actually going to get killed right now. Yeah. Um, Raynor could just dish out so much damage. Uh, Fly Kick is going to fly to an enemy. It's supposed to kick through them and jump behind them. Um, this has been known to be really bugged. Um, I don't know if it's still continuously bugged. Uh, sometimes I notice that I don't actually go through the target. Uh, so I'm led to believe that... It is essentially still bug, but they did fix it a little bit. It does work uh, sometimes now. Going in on this Sylvanas. You can go nowhere, Raynor. You can go nowhere. There too. Need to be careful, bro. No. Well, Zero Two made it, but Vala didn't. I feel bad for that. Oh, Zeratul pulling out the jukes, huh? Huh, bro? Um, our W ability is <clears throat> called Keg Smash. And as I throw down on this Zeratul player right in front of me, or I try to anyway, he's going to try to gank around me. I don't know where he's going. I'm sitting next to my towers, homie. Little homie. Our W ability is called Keg Smash. It's going to drop a keg on the ground just like this, and it's going to... Um, Allow us to set up for our combo, uh, which is the flame combo, which is our B. So you wanna you wanna Q, you wanna Q, and you wanna W, and then you want to E. Uh, I'm trying to do my best to try to poke at these guys and make something happen, but it doesn't look like that's going to be do anything. Um, I was left down there by the bottom limb to try to defend it myself because they were taking it out pretty fast. With the help of the Sylvanas, they are going to pose a huge threat to our Immortals. So we're going to have to try to control them a little better. Zeratul looking like he thought he got the kill. And then con discontinued the pursuit. Um, fuck. There's a pretty good chance that they're going to get it. We've already died two times. Uh, that's already way more times than I should die this early into the game. Uh, they are definitely going to get the Immortal. There's no point in trying to contest it. And that's just my humble opinion. Because uh, they're going to get it regardless. There's there's nothing we could have done about that um, at all. Uh, at level 4, we are going to take... Let's see. Auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. We could take Swift Reflexes to dodge their basic attacks every 4 seconds. This will nullify any damage from their basic attacks. Or we could take Amplify Healing. Uh, we'll take Amplify Healing. I think that one will suit us a little bit better. Um, essentially... Because um, 
this is going to ju not just apply to our uh, pff, our our mana fountain drinks, but our um, everything. Any any healing that we have to that we have to do, it's going to benefit it. Uh, so it's going to actually couple really well with our uh, level seven uh, talent. You know, if and when we actually get to pick that. Oh, that was really dumb. I should have realized his air tool was there. Looking like the friendly team is having some issues down in the top lane. Um, I'm only in the bottom lane because Zeratul and Ortanis are still here. Uh, so I really don't want to leave this lane uh, just yet. Not by itself anyway because that will just give them more <clears throat> experience. Or it will be experience that's not being soaked. Um, we do got to be mindful that that ability does do more damage <clears throat> on the way back than it does coming forward. He's trying to face prison me into the towers. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Yeah. 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 God damn it, Chen. You're such an alcoholic, I swear. I swear, buddy. They're probably taking this one right now, to be honest. No, they're not. Okay. At level 7, now that we finally reached it after what seemed like forever, we're going to go with Brewmaster's Balance. Brewmaster's Balance is going to do one of two things. Um, whenever we're uh, at 50 or more brew uh, we are going to increase our regeneration rate by an additional 24 health per second that is huge that is so huge we could definitely get the Sylvanas trying to escape out of here but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen I need to get the fuck out I need to get the fuck out of here. Was our Zeratul about to die? Yeah, but I think their Zeratul was about to die as well. Um, the second effect, when we are under 50, 50 brew, we are going to get a 20% movement speed. Uh, so further increasing our ability to run away, like disengage or re-engage into combat, um, whatever we see fit. So really, really cool trait to have there. As Chen, looks like they did the face prism on that Tyrael. Um, I could potentially come in and kill him, actually. Nope, he actually escaped um, out of there. I went the wrong way. I thought he was going to juke back the other way around. That's why I went that way. As you can see, man, this fucking... This shit is so badass. I mean, the healing is crazy. What's up, Artanis? What's up, Artanis? Oh, I think I can't go behind you, bro. You think I can't go behind you? What do you think this is? Fucking um, amateur hour, bro? You think this is amateur hour? What's up, Tyrael? Like, you see right there? Like, that's what I mean by it didn't work. Because sometimes it just doesn't... It just it just doesn't. What's up? Oh, I'm gonna get stunned. Dude, you can try to trade with me if you want. But you're gonna get pwned. There it is. I need to actually do this. Yes! Get out of here, Savannah. I'm just gonna poke her out of the lane. I'm not really I'm not really looking to actually do any meaningful damage to her. I'm just trying to get her out uh, so that I can re-engage onto this onto this guy. But it's not gonna look like we're gonna do much damage. We need to get the fuck out of here because we're gonna end up dying. So now that we disengage, we just drink back up and we just try to heal back up as much as we can. But we need to be extremely careful because we are really low on health. Zeratul looking like he's going to try to jump in and do some damage. Not going to do much. Artan is taking down our friendly freaking Vala. We need to be very careful. Um, at this level range, it really depends. We're not really sure what we're going to take. Um, it could go both of those two ways. I normally take Storm, Earth, and Fire. Uh, this is a better survivability cooldown. Uh, but I think for all intents and purposes, we are going to maybe take Wandering Keg. Try to push, just try to push them out of lanes um, a little bit more <clears throat> so we can better uh, trade into these um, Immortals. Um, but these do a little more damage. Um, we are going to go for... Uh, yeah, we're going to go for a Storm, Earth, and Fire. This is just going to increase our survivability uh, quite a bit, actually. So, like, right now, we're really low on health. We just come in on in here. 
this is not for anything but survivability purposes um, just so you guys know uh, this is just so I can get clean out of the way um, and not get killed essentially <laughs> it's, it's what I mean it's, it's what is made what, what I use it for essentially um, but if I do end up getting caught somewhere I will end up dying so I do need to be wary of that we are a little bit behind <clears throat> On the XP, looks like they're trying to defend their immortal uh, here at the moment. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this region globe and then make my way back up. Got to drink a little bit though because I can't do anything without any brew. Excellent body blocking. We could definitely take out the Tyrio, but we're not sure if we're going to because um, sometimes it's just not worth it. We can definitely get the immortal here, so we could to continue to just you know fucking take take this down. I love that when you get the immortal, you do get these two region globes up here. So this is further going to add to our regen. Fuck, can't fucking talk. Regeneration master stacks. Oh man, we don't. Well, with Asmodee being a specialist, we can potentially split push, but I don't think he's going to want to do that. I need to be careful. I need to be careful. Looks like they did take out the enemy Savannas in the top lane. Very job well done. Very job well done. The Hyperion coming out from the enemy Raynor is going to try to push us back just a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, we can still come in here and do some meaningful damage. Uh, Asmodin throwing them dunks. The stun from Vala coming out. Void Prison coming out trying to keep us contested. So they can take out this Immortal, but it's looking like it's not going to last them very long. Uh, what's up, Raynor? What's up, buddy? Um, at this level range, we're going to go with enough to share. This is going to increase the survivor overall survivability of our entire friendly team. Anyone that stands within our healing brew just like this, it's going to grant them the same amount of shield. Well, not the same amount of shield. It's going to grab them a lesser shield than what we have, but a shield nonetheless. Uh, so we can potentially just shield all our allies from any harmful damage. So while they do the damage, we can potentially just sit back and um, and make stuff happen. You know what I mean? Uh, we did not pair up that combo very well. Uh, and that 20% movement speed is just so fantastic when you need it. I mean, it's just so good. <laughs> Looking like they want to take this mercenary camp. I am not opposed to that. Not opposed to that at all. I think this build is the more popular build for Chen. I mean, you guys are welcome to correct me. I'm not too sure what the most popular build for Chen is. Uh, it's looking like our Zer tool is in kind of trouble, but we are trying to contest some of these mercenary camps. Gonna go with Ping Bala that I'm, I'm on my way, baby girl. I'm on my way. I didn't have enough fire. Enough brew in my belly. I really like I really like Chen's playstyle. It's uh, really different from other warriors. He's to me, it feels like all up in your face type of warrior. You know what I mean? Like you want to be in people's way. You want to be in their in their fucking faces, and you just wanna you just wanna make plays. You wanna make stuff happen. You don't you don't care. You just want stuff to happen. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, you you're gonna attack me? Okay, that's fine. I mean, do it. Focus me, please. Focus me with all your might. So Asmodin's minions and that mercenary camp can actually push all the way down uh, to the enemy core if they wanted to. It looks like Artanis is way caught way out of position. Uh, good body blocking here could potentially uh, get him killed. Um, so we're going to try and do just that. Yes! I think we could sit in that purifier beam, but I'm not going to chance it because, I mean, I want to see him go for it. I mean, it doesn't... Doesn't bother me, man. Doesn't bother me whatsoever. Okay, so at level 16, it's this is going to be a toss-up. You can take um, Boulder Flavor. This is going to increase the maximum shield you actually generate. And it's going to increase your shield regeneration uh, by 40%. So it's going to give you a faster shield and a bigger shield. Uh, but the shield doesn't last all that long. It only lasts uh, two seconds after you stop drinking. So it's not all that, all that good. Uh, or you could go with more for pressure point, flying kick, massively slows targets by one by 90% for one second. So you guys could definitely do that. Um, I normally go for um, for a combination attack here, just to do additional uh, some additional damage. Uh, you know, so we can make some plays. Oh, Zertul! 
so we can do shit like that. Oh, pull my ult. Oof. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, bro? I could definitely take out this Tyrael. But at the cost of possibly taking myself out. So I need to get the fuck out of here. Oh, no. No. <laughs> that was so bad. I shouldn't have chased him. Damn. Too deep. Damn. I should have definitely used that. I had the I had the opportunity to escape. I shouldn't have actually pursued that Tyrael. That was really bad call. I should have known that Tyrael can easily... Um, easily push me, or not push me, but outrun me, basically, with his uh, Q ability, you know, or his E and W ability. They are just so good. They give him so much mobility. He could just be all over the place. So I should have known that that was a really bad. That was a really bad call on my part. But we did get some. We did get something out of this. We definitely did get something out of this. So I'm not angry. I'm not mad of, at what we accomplished with that immortal. Uh, we are pushed up almost to the second keep. I am going to go down here and let Vala and Zeratul know that I'm, I'm on my way to help. I'm on my way to save you guys. I'm going to try my best to try and contest this with you guys because we could potentially... Oh, oh that was a bad call. Bad call, bad call, bad call, bad call, bad call. Okay. Man, I'm getting tunnel vision now <laughs> I don't think I'm the only one that's getting tunnel vision uh, in this match um, we're, we were very far ahead on the XP uh, enemy team is now ahead of us by less than a level but still ahead of us nonetheless so we are definitely 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 playing a lot worse than we were playing earlier uh, so we need to get our heads out of our asses and actually try and make plays like we were making plays earlier uh looking like they're trying to take that mercenary camp zero needs to be extremely careful immortal is spawning and they actually did get that mercenary camp well that's unfortunate that's gonna push right into us right into our bottom lane so I'm assuming while they do that, they're going to try and contest the boss or the, um, yeah, I guess you could call it a boss, the immortal. So we need to be extremely careful. Looks like our tannis, our friend of our tannis getting pushed out of the top lane. Uh, we need to go up there and try to help him out. Our purifier beam going out on him. Our, the enemy, our tannis, completely out of position, is going to get taken down really easily there really bad to die when there is an objective up just like that it's 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 just un un-american no i'm just kidding that didn't make any sense we got to be extremely careful uh with this team fight rainer could potentially kill me if he wanted to uh if he does have giant killer i'm not sure if he does oh vala i'm gonna get in that void prison to avoid some of this hyperion damage and the zerat and the oh fuck ah she waited for that. She waited for the opportunity. She waited for that. Damn. I was hoping getting... You need to run. You need to run. I was hoping getting... Oh, Zeratul. Fucking Zeratul. Very nice Void Prison coming out from the friendly Artanis. is going to secure that Zeratul kill. We did trade 3 for 3 there uh, for this objective, but I don't feel like it's worth it. We are 30 seconds out. Pure 5 been going now on... Good old Jimmy there, but the heal is going to keep him alive and well. Uh, it's looking like Zeratul and Artanis should focus. Okay, they're trying to they're trying to protect ours while the enemy team tries to go through, trying to go for a gank or something. Man, no, why, don't know why you'd fed face 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 prism right there. Why well, I can't I can't speak to save my life. Artanis so low on health is actually going to make it out of there. Wow. If Asmodan had been alive, he could have dropped a very nice dunk and potentially finished the, you know, got the killing blow on him. That was amazing. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with that. Where are you going, Sylvie? You're going to die. I need to fucking I need to cast my ultimate. Heed my call. Hell yeah. Body blocking all day. Body blocking all day. We could definitely kill him. 
We need to peace on the fuck out of here though, uh, for reasons that I'm going to just die. So, yeah, that's why I picked this talent. This one actually, like I said, it, it's a it's a huge survivability boost. Uh, so it's really really awesome. Uh, level range. I've never picked up the upgrade to the this ultimate, and I don't plan to because I don't really want to try it out. We're gonna pick a part of the shield to further increase our survivability. Um, we're not. We only have one damage. Um talent that we have picked thus far and it is just to boost our damage after our flying kick uh, so we're not really looking to do that much damage we're trying just we're trying just to be in people's face as much as we can trying to get in the way and do our best just with things like that so we're going to grab these region globes we are only at 20 stacks of region master which is fucking terrible which is terrible I think Asbadan should really try and split push um, with this since he is a specialist but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen and we're all just gonna push together which you know I'm not I'm not opposed to either I, I don't I don't think that's a that's necessarily a bad thing uh, we could definitely push together and make something happen uh, we just got to be extremely careful the Void Prison coming out from the enemy Zeratul really early on in this encounter. Uh, looking like he's going to try to do some damage here maybe. I'm not sure. He's going to try to shield shield our friendly Artanis as much as we possibly can. And go in on the enemy Artanis uh, so we can make something happen. Zeratul looking like he's going to try to he's gonna try to body block him. Nope. Not really going to do much. We can slow him down. And pretend to take him out. If they can stand in my fucking... They should have just stood in my shield. I mean, they would have been perfectly okay. Um, looks like Sylvanas is the only one that's really alive that could potentially do anything. Um, so we're going to take her out. She did already use her her means of escape. And we can actually win right now. Uh, we're going to win, no problem. Very good. Very nicely done by the friendly team. We did get really sloppy there at the second. Oh, I tried to dance on the core. Uh, we did get really sloppy there towards the end of the game and we were making a lot of bad plays and bad 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 just bad calls bad calls not just on their not just on their, their part but my part too i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna deny that i'm not gonna deny that whatsoever see the stats if you guys care about them we didn't do much we were actually a little competitive we were still competitive with everyone else our vala falling very behind on the damage um our tennis could have potentially dished out more damage as well let's see what did he take he took he did take triple strike he took shields okay he went more defensive towards the end um if you're gonna go with seasoned marksman i don't know why you would not take anything you know why you would? Why, I don't know why you would take these defensive talents and then triple strike. That doesn't make any sense. This is a really weird build that he went for. So that's probably why I fell behind on the damage. Zeratul taking block. What the hell? Very weird Zeratul build. Um, never seen that before. Interesting. Uh, Vala looking like she went for the single target. Yeah, she should. She should have honestly done more damage. Anyway, we're not talking about me. We're talking about me. At level one, we took regeneration master. This is going to increase our healing regeneration when we pick up a region globes. At level four, we took amplified healing to further, you know, go with this talent. At level seven, we took brewmaster's balance to further go with these two balance. <laughs> level four and level one talents. Uh, this is going to, uh, when we are above 50 or below brew, we're going to get 20% movement speed uh, for good disengage or engage. When we are above 50, we are going to increase our health regen per second, and this does scale throughout the game. At level 10, we took Storm, Earth, and Fire. I didn't really see the reason to take the barrel. I mean, you become unstoppable, but you can still you still potentially die. I mean, I feel like this is the better, the better survivability talent, and it does a little bit more damage. At level 13, we took enough to share. This is going to give our allies a shield as well within an area. Not as much as us, but it's going to give us, it's going to give them enough to avoid some damage if they're smart enough to stand in it. At level 13, we took a damaging ability. We took combination attack. The next basic attack after using fly kick deals 100% bonus damage. Um, we could have taken the, the alternative here would have been to go with the bold flavor 
talent this that will increase your regeneration on your shield allowing you to survive more damage but i felt like we needed to do a little bit more damage because our 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 vala and our zerata were falling a little behind on it uh so we did that specifically for that reason at level 20 we took hardened shield this is going to reduce damage thing with 75 percent for four seconds that is huge ladies and gentlemen that is huge uh so this is just going to add to our survivability but yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That was Chen the Panda. Yeah. All right, bye.